Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now in this video I am going to show you exactly why you cannot install the YouTube app on your digipad. Now I have been getting a lot of requests on my channel and a lot of comments and also my personal messages is being filled up with messages regarding how to install the YouTube app on the digipad. Well I just wanted to show all of you guys that why is it not possible to install or of course to be more precise it is possible to install the app but the app won't run because it relies on the Google Play services which are required to run any of the Google supported apps. Well, well, in now in this video I am going to show you exactly how it works and how you can actually install the app itself but the app is not going to work in any way. So this is an information video and of course and I am also going to show you the, the alternate method which you can use YouTube on your digipad which I have already shown in one of my previous videos as well. So right now let's just go ahead and open up the ES file explorer and now as you can see I have already downloaded an app which is compatible with the digipad and that is the YouTube app and if you are seeing here there is a YouTube logo right here. So this is the YouTube app which is compatible with the digipad. Yes, there is an app and once I click on the app as you can see it is a YouTube version 5.5.27 so this app version is supported by the digipad you guys can also go ahead and try this if you are interested but you can just watch what's going to happen once you install this app so there is an install button right here once i go ahead and click on the install button it is going to ask me to replace the application because i have already pre-installed it i'll just click on the ok button so as you can see the youtube app does get a installation window proper installation window on the digipad well the first time when i tried it i actually thought this was going to be a success and i would be able to install a default youtube app which would be very helpful in playing any sort of a YouTube videos on our digipad while the car is running. When the first time I did that I was really excited but once I got ahead and got to know that it requires Google Play services I was pretty disappointed and that's what I want to show you guys that why you cannot run the YouTube app on the digipad. So let's just go ahead and click on the install button right here. So as you can see the YouTube app is being installed on the digipad and it does install successfully without any passing error without any sort of a hiccup on the digipad. So once the app gets installed you can also see it on the app manager so if i just press on the home button and open up the apps so if i just scroll down you can see a youtube app right here so youtube does get installed very well and also you can of course drag and drop the youtube icon onto your home screen so there is a youtube icon right on the home screen and this does look good because we all have been expecting a youtube dedicated app on the digipad well it's possible to install it but the problem is i'm just going to show you right now so once i click on the youtube app button it does open up and once it opens up it asks me to sign in into a google account well we can do that of course so if i just click on the add account button you can see a dialog box window right here and it says google play services google play services which some of your applications rely on is not supported by your device please contact the manufacturer for assistance so this is the problem guys if you want to run any sort of a google apps onto the digipad now this applies also to the google play store you can apply it to the gmail all google supported apps need a google play services in order to run well accept the older version of the google maps which i have already shown how you can download and install on the digipad that specific app does not rely on the google play services that particular version of the app but all the other apps including the youtube the gmail and all other google relying apps do require the google play services so as you can see the app has been installed and you can also see in the background the app is particularly installed right here but this menu says that it needs the google play services in order to run properly and if i do click on the ok button the app closes down and it doesn't open again so if i just try to open it back up again it gives the same thing and it also gives an option to touch to connect and play videos on your tv so as you can see in the background the app is running but the pop-up window is preventing me from accessing the youtube app and it also shows there was a problem in authenticating so this pop-up window is going to stay because it requires a google play services in order to open up and if only honda had provided the proper google play services you would have been able to install any of the android apps especially the google apps such as the updated version of the maps and stuff so this google play services cannot be installed directly on the digipad i already have tried that the google play services app apk is also available but once you install it you can see that it won't be supported by the google servers so i have tried every method in order to run the youtube app on the digipad and it's not going to work so this is the error window which you're going to see once you try to install the youtube app so if i just go ahead and click on the ok button the app closes down by itself 
so guys what to do in order to open up the youtube app on the digipad well you can run it using the firefox browser and i have already shown in detail regarding how you can do that but there is also a very small problem in the firefox browser which some of you may be facing so i am just going to clarify any of the problem which you might be facing in that and for some people the it is showing up as the browser is not supported and youtube is not going to open so i'm just going to go ahead and click on the firefox browser so once the browser opens up what you need to do is just click on the url search bar and type in the address youtube.com so if you just click on the youtube.com as you can see right here it says as youtube.com so if i just go ahead and click on the go button you are going to be greeted with this message that is please update your browser your browser isn't supported anymore update it to get the best youtube experience and our latest features so as you can see the youtube is not supported by the firefox browser in this particular method and some of you might be facing this issue because many of you have been saying that your youtube is not opening on the digipad and this might be a similar problem you might be facing well i have found a workaround for this also in spite of getting this notification as well you can still use youtube on your digipad what you need to do is a very small trick just click on the url search bar click clear of the previous address and just type in the letters that is the m small letter m click on the dot that is a full stop and then type youtube.com so the address is pre written right there as you can see it says m.youtube.com just make sure that you write this letter m before the youtube.com phrase and not just the youtube.com itself without the m so once you do that and then you go ahead and click on the go button as you can see the youtube is going to open up on the digipad irrespective of the version of the firefox browser which you are running so as you can see the youtube has opened up so if you are trying to open the desktop version of the youtube it will show up a notification saying that it is not supported and you might get disappointed that you may not be able to run youtube on your digipad so make sure you write the m letter that is mobile version so m. youtube.com and your youtube is going to open up so this is the youtube.com opening up and running on the digipad very easily so let me just go ahead and click on one of the videos just to show you guys that it works really well and there is no issue and there is no flaw so if your internet connection is fast enough and the you have a good bandwidth of the internet connection the videos are going to open up pretty soon so let's just go ahead and see one of the videos of my channel just to make sure just to show you guys that the youtube is up and running on the digipad and you need not worry and you can play any of the videos which you want very easily so once the youtube opens up make sure you click on the settings button on top of the screen right here so if you just click on the settings button what you need to do is next click on the quality button of the video and click on 144p so just click on the 144p and click on the okay button below the screen so what this does is is actually reduce the video quality and help in buffering the video faster than it actually should so once the 144p resolution is selected the lesser bandwidth of the internet is used and the video streams in a fast manner and a much efficient manner than the one you are trying to play if you're in a higher resolution so i have selected the 144p and the video should start pretty soon right now outlets have been messaging me in order to bring out a video regarding the steering wheel cover which i use for my car and right now in this video I'm So guys as you can see the YouTube is up and running on the digipad and it works really well and of course based on the bandwidth of the internet speed your video is going to buffer slower or faster so in this case it is buffering a bit slowly because my internet is a bit patchy here right now but just in case i wanted to show you that the YouTube is working and the YouTube it's audio is of audio so working really well as you can hear the audio right now the audio is also working and the video is also streaming very well so this is the method guys this is how you can use YouTube on your digipad and i just show you why you cannot install the youtube app because it requires the youtube google play services in order to run and google play services is something which we cannot install on our digipad so that's it guys this is the video i wanted to show you this is the information which i wanted to give you and if you have any sort of a doubts or queries you can write down in the comments below and i'll try to answer them as soon as possible and if you are facing a problem regarding a youtube audio i have also made a video regarding that and i'm going to give you the link for that video in the description of this video so if you are facing any youtube audio problem you can go ahead and watch that video and know how to correct the audio problem of youtube in the digipad 
and also after watching this video you can go ahead and check out if you can install the youtube app with the version which i have already showed you but it's of going to be no use you can also try and installing google play services but also the google play services are not supported by the digipad so right now i do have a youtube app it does look good on the digipad screen but nevertheless it doesn't work and that's why you have to use the alternate method of using the firefox browser in order to play any sort of a videos on the digipad and of course as i just showed you earlier you need to type in the letter small letter m in order to access the youtube version the mobile version of the youtube on the digipad and if you're trying to play the direct your desktop version browser is not going to support the youtube and you might get a error so that's it guys this is the video for today and i hope you like the video and if you like the effort which has gone behind in making this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and also like this video this is travel tech signing off and have a really nice day